fellas, fellas, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on now. It's all about swag. You got to have the swag in this. You know, I see how I got the velvet right here, you know what I'm saying? Look how I'm doing it. I'm laid out, baby. I'm clean as a hotel chief. I'm doing my thing. Fellas. Uh, whatever. Hey, this is Mike Epps, and welcome to Shaq's All-Star Comedy Jam. It's showtime, bitches. I need you to get up out your goddamn seat. Welcome my man Mike Epps to the stage. Good in the motherfucking ear. I smell brute 33. <laughs> Niggas got baby powder on their chest. It's all kind of pimps and players in here tonight. And you know what they say, what happens in Vegas? Vegas, Vegas. Including your money, motherfuckers. <laughs> They're here to take your shit. Don't think you're gonna come to Vegas and get your kids tuition. <laughs> Nigga, no. Nigga, we in Vegas. Niggas looking good in the mother. All kind of sexy ass ladies in here. Give it up for the sexy ladies in here tonight. Such a beautiful place tonight. We're here to uh, celebrate Shaq's All Stars. Shaquille O'Neal, big black barbecue eating motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga Shaq cold, man. Shit. You see him doing all this business. <laughs> He's a good businessman until he brought them motherfucking shoes out. <laughs> All the old men love them shoes, because they look like orthopedics. <laughs> that nigga's feet is big as hell. That nigga doing icy hot commercials, because it's hot now. <laughs> Put a cool on your back. That's right, Vegas will take your motherfucking money. And a lot of old women, they, they sick. My grandmother, she's sick, can't walk or nothing. Soon as she get out the car at the casino, I'll be right back, baby. <laughs> I say, this is a hell of a medication right here. One of my buddy's mothers was missing for two weeks. They had her old ass on the damn milk carton and everything. They finally caught up to her two weeks later. She had the slot machine. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me, shit. I'm all right. <laughs> Ain't drunk nothing. Smell like a little dump truck sitting there. <laughs> all these sexy ass ladies. We in Vegas. <laughs> Getting your motherfucking gamble on. That's right. I like shooting them craps. But I hate when I'm losing and a nigga ain't got no money on the table just walk up out of nowhere. How the table look over here, dog? <laughs> Nigga, if you don't get your broke ass away from my back. I know y'all looking at me like I'm clean. I got to take this shit right back next Tuesday. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm getting old now. I can tell because a lot of old bitches be trying to talk to me. <laughs> I be sitting at the bar, all of a sudden I hear, hello, Michael. The fuck is this Morgan Freeman looking ass bitch that's stuck up behind my goddamn back? My name is Barbara. And I drive a Thunderbird, honey. And you got red lipstick on your teeth too, bitch. <laughs> bitch got a Benson and Hedges this long. Oh, yes, Michael. And when you fucking them young girls, you gotta pay. Them young bitches make you pay. Give me some money, that's all you hear is give me some money. <laughs> no, don't touch me, give me some money. You still gonna do what you said you gonna do? Look, little young bitch, make me feel like somebody for my money. <laughs> that's why when you them young girls, you gotta take a half a pill of that Cialis and a Red Bull <laughs> and beat the carnation milk off that young pussy, you hear me? Beat that young pussy up. I'm, you're gonna learn today, young bitch. Because when you beat that young it sound like that. That's how it sound when you beat that young Because when you fucking them cougars, it's like, row! Row! You're all 
in my guts, young man. Come on, hit it from the back, young man. Come on. You gotta hit that pussy with a nose clip on, like, whoo. I'm just fucking you for that one owner that's in your garage, that Cadillac. It's been in your garage for 40 years. I want it. I want to put some rims on it. It ain't never been drove. The ashtray's clean. Them Kardashians got Lamar Odom up, don't they? God damn. I seen that nigga on Crenshaw the other night. <laughs> uh, them bitches are fucking niggas head up. Kanye stuck his dick in a bankroll, didn't he? Woo, that bitch is rich. And that baby gonna look like everybody. Ray J. Reggie Bush. Chris Humphreys. Me? No. <laughs> Let's see who's in the house tonight. Who was born in the 1960s? We're the 60 babies. It's about y'all bedtime. Yeah. I said a nigga smell icy hot. <laughs> Where the 70 babies at? That's my nigga, 70. You ain't old, but you ain't young either no more. You better get your shit together. Your hips is moving up. You pregnant at the same time your daughter is. You ain't know it. Where the 80 babies at? 80 babies, 80 babies! You crackhead motherfuckers. That's y'all mom and daddy right here, just. Y'all ready to get this party started? Yeah! I come to break you suckers, that's what I came to do. Show me some, I ain't got no money right now, you know. You can't break nobody, you ain't got no money, This is 10,000, uh, you know, <laughs> Okay, well look at here, the, the money that Shaq paid us, <laughs> I, I couldn't get you to fuck <laughs> this right here. <laughs> Coming to the stage, this is your man, this is my man. You're gonna love him when he come out. Straight out of Birmingham, Alabama, Henry Wells! We're gonna get right to the jokes. What's happening? Anybody celebrating tonight? Birthday, anniversary, pregnant? Anybody late? Anybody spotting? What's up, white people? Got y'all in the back. Now y'all know how we feel. I see there's a white lady in the back with a black dude. You know what that means. Once you go black, you just became a single parent. We ain't marrying y'all monkey ass neither. Don't get it twisted. White people, I see y'all over here happy as hell hanging out with the Shaq All-Star. A lot of crazy stuff going on. I live in Atlanta. Anybody from the ATL in the house? But I'm from Birmingham. Where Alabama at? Yeah. First four eight, we be on there every week, don't we? I love it. Shut up, woman. Shaw I don't need your damn help. I used to be a black chip and they some player haters. Every time I got naked, they said, give it up for scrub the ground. <laughs> oh, this is a slow ass crowd right here. <laughs> we'll work on colors tomorrow. I need to loosen y'all ass up. I'm from Alabama. We supposed to be slow. Come on in with them big old titties right there. What kind of bra you wear? Suburban? <laughs> Look at his light. <laughs> he happy to hear them old ass shoes on. Look at them shoes. 
Shoes so old and heel in the front. He step off a curb, he walking in circles. Ah. Boy, it's hot up here. I'm sweating like Paula Dean at a black cookout. I gotta go ahead and cook for all these black eyed peas. Yeah. Lil Wayne keep having seizures. If I look like Lil Wayne, look, I have a seizure every day too. He almost died. Remember, he almost died. They had him in seat aside, now he kept having a stroke, a little seizure, whatever he was dealing with. They said, somebody got to get a little Wayne mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. You should have seen them people run out of that room. <laughs> Guess who kissed him in the mouth? Birdman. <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> don't tap out, Birdman Jr. We need you. <laughs> don't tap out. Please don't tap out. <laughs> don't tap out, Birdman Jr. Please don't tap out. <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> Some of y'all ain't laughing, I'm booked. I got some more show. <laughs> it's rough being out here, man. I love being a Sagittarius half man, half horse. <laughs> some of y'all slow as hell. <laughs> I was dating this midget, right? She said, you love me? I said, yeah, babe, I'm nuts over you. <laughs> Boy, this is a slow ass crowd right here. <laughs> what y'all want, some knock knock jokes? <laughs> All right, knock knock. <laughs> Willis. Will his dick fit in your mouth? <laughs> See, I knew y'all would laugh at some ignorant shit like that. I'm up here trying to be intelligent. I'm watching a TV show the other day, and Aretha Franklin called in, telling me she want Halle Berry to play her in a movie. I know damn well Aretha Franklin don't believe that. You know if you play Aretha Franklin, CeeLo Green from The Voice. <laughs> Boy, it's hot up here. I'm sweating like a <laughs> eating a hot dog. <laughs> Boy, this might be the dumbest crowd I have ever worked. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. We supposed to be slow. Boy, it's hot up here. I'm sweating like a football player taking a shower at Penn State. <laughs> what, I say something wrong with something? Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm not to email my jokes. So y'all can pick out the ones y'all want me to do. Hey y'all, I'm Henry Woods. God bless you, Las Vegas! Henry Welch, y'all, Henry Welch. My man, Big Snoop Dogg in the house, y'all. Big Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg! That nigga cool as a fan. Don't leave him with your daughter or your mama or none of that. Yeah, that nigga Snoop, he call a girl a bitch, she be like, hey, Snoop. <laughs> hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? How you doing, little bitch? <laughs> we also got legendary, legendary OJ singer, Eddie LaVert in the house. Eddie LaVert! <laughs> Look at you looking smooth, baby! Got him and his girl, ooh! Look at Eddie LaVert, man, we doing it! We got Shaquille O'Neal, man, that nigga Big Shaq. Shaq, that's my man, that's my nigga right there. I tell you, Shaq, I thought I had some ugly baby mamas. Your baby mamas is fucked up. I mean, my baby mamas look like James Brown. But his look like Kimbo Slice. I seen one of his baby mamas on the plane. She must have not had her head wrap on. Looked like a newborn chicken sitting in the front. <laughs> Ooh. We didn't know we was gonna make it back in the day, Shaq, and we was fucking girls that looked like booger wolves for real. <laughs> that nigga was like, I ain't gonna make it to the NBA. Come on, I'll give you a baby fuck. I know I ain't gonna make it to the NBA. Come on here, bitch. Y'all having a good time, Vegas? <laughs> okay, now what we got going on? How much work? Are you losing? That's what's going on. <laughs> I, I gotta take some more shit. Yeah, you ain't yeah, betting yeah. nothing, man. I'll tell you what. I told you get that shack money up front. I ain't gonna keep on taking this shit off. <laughs> Y'all not no female. 
Real, let's go. Come on, take the little vest. Okay. Come on. Because you know you need to work on your chin anyway. Come on, let's go. Come on, Real. Let's get out of here. It's a gentleman's game. Let's get out of here, little Real. Come on, little Real. Let's get out of here. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Robin Harris is back. Oh, come on, give it up for little Real. Man, y'all can do better than that, y'all. I came a long damn way from Chicago. Make some noise, Vegas. Give me some love. <laughs> Try to play me like that, not in my suit, man. I'm killing it with the suit. Thanks, Shaq. These rented, though. We got to get these right back when we done. I can't wait. It's nowhere. Some bullshit. But let me tell y'all something. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy with my life and shit, man. You know, I'm getting older. Like, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, because the light hitting it. It's a little, I'm starting to bald a little bit. And that's, that's scary as hell when you know your hair's on that last leg. Anybody else know that shit? You know what I'm talking about, fellas. When you know you can't do no more fuck-ups, you know this it. That's why I'm trying to get every haircut I always wanted. You know? I'm like, give me the Nino Brown, fuck it, before the chick go. I'm gonna get the Scotty Pippen 92 box. That's what I want. <laughs> I can't do no more fuck-ups. I am frightened every time I go to the barber shop. Because you know when they fuck you up, you hear the Clippers. The Clippers make a noise that scared the shit out of you. You be sitting there, be smooth at first. What the fuck was that? You try to turn around here to cut the lights out in the shop so you can't look in the mirror. Like, God damn, fam. <laughs> Nigga, that fucked you up. You can tell he fucked you up, he don't even charge you. You be like, hey man, just go home, man, you good. What you mean I'm good? Nigga, what I owe you? Go home, happy birthday. That my fucking birthday, fam. Better watch you cut your hair. Some of these barbers will be too close to right here on your face. I think they need to put a line between. <laughs> they dick in your head, they be all on you. You be sitting there uncomfortable like, this is bullshit. Actual fade, not One time I got mad, I lift the chair up myself. Like, you know something, you go, go cut my shit in your tippy toes. Go, go get your chair. <laughs> Better watch you cut your hair. I'm about to take, take one barber to Judge Joe Brown. This nigga cut my mole off and didn't say nothing. How you cut somebody mole off and don't tell them? I don't know if anybody ever had a mole cut off, but you bleed slowly. I'm in a chair getting weak as hell. I don't even know why. Like, God damn, y'all. Hey, y'all got a gas leak in here or something? What the fuck is wrong with me? Grandma, what you doing here? You supposed to be dead. I'm fucking dying. I'm sliding out the chair. This nigga cut my hair as I go down and shit. Like, ain't nothing wrong. We can't do what women do. They buy wigs. Any ladies in here with a wig on? Man, I appreciate you keeping it one. <laughs> All you gotta do is cut the heat up and watch you digging that shit. You ever see when they forget they got the wig on? <laughs> it's all the do-rag, motherfucker. But look, ladies, look, I'd rather buy you a wig to get your hair done. Way cheaper. I'll take you wig shopping till we get you the best wig money can buy. Your wig's so good, they gonna get your shit down with a stick. We walk in that beauty supply, oh, hold on, you want the human hair, hold on, fam. Oh, shit. You must be rich or something, all you just go up here for this human hair wigs. You know, this the dream girl wig, he got all types of descriptions. Females do what the fuck they want, no matter how they built. That's some real shit. So sick of saying, let me say this, lady. This is a real public search business now. Just because it's your birthday don't mean you can wear a fitted dress. If you don't have a fitted dress body, cut that shit out. Women think because they birthday, they body disappear. If you <laughs> built like a dryer with the door open, that's her stomach. Oh, dry body having ass, just kicking it. <laughs> body ain't shit. And they, you know, you know, we be hyping them up. Like I say, I hate fucking <laughs> rats. They be real confident. And the reason it is because they fucking ghetto ass friends. Who rats be lying to their friends because they think it's funny? Oh shit, Mimi, it's your motherfucking birthday. You better shut their ass down. Look at you. Appreciate it. <laughs> 
hell up. Y'all always uplifting me. You thick as hell. Look at you, me, me. It's your birthday. It's your, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. God damn. It's my birthday. It's your motherfucking day. Yo, baby daddy, jealous as hell. We go get it in. Hell no. Somebody read closely. Fucking leave them hood rats alone. Let them do them. Don't say shit to them. You are a roasted hood rat in your head. They can hear you. Did you know that? Oh, ugh, these bitches look bogus. And what? Who bogus? Who the fuck you talking to? Yeah, I read minds. Who the fuck you talking to, bro? Get your little goofy ass out of here. You a goofy ass nigga. Glasses bogus as hell. Who the fuck you talking to? Y'all a dirty ass click. I ain't never dirty. Get your goofy. They make their voice deep when they get mad. Yo, goofy. The fucking outfits, they too confident. Rainbow. They need to shut a rainbow down around the country. This store ain't shit. <laughs> you buy them cheap ass dresses, think they the shit. They need to put the stick man in rainbow, put all the dresses up there. So a fat ass can't get her own size. She coming out, ooh, that's a very on dress. <laughs> you got that in the two? Oh, hell no, you ain't getting no two. You about to get this 18X up here, that's what the fuck you gonna get. Don't you look at them regular dresses. <sighs> and I want a belt, oh, wait a minute. Don't you dare look at them regular belts. You about to get this WCW Intercontinental Champion belt. That's the fuck you gonna get. Who you want, the Big Show or Andre the Giant? Don't you look at Kurt Angle, you're not Kurt Angle. <laughs> That's why I used to think Victoria's Secret was the shit. Victoria's Secret ain't nothing but a magic shop. None of that shit real, the bras is push up. They got lotions in there so you can't smell their real bodies. <laughs> I wish we had our own store, Victor's Secret. Have some shit to fool you. <laughs> see a bunch of grown ass men with a little blue bag. What you see what I got from Victor's? Got a <laughs> on there to fool your ass. <laughs> we both get naked and shit like, ah ha, fooled you too. This ain't my side, this is 38 double dick. This ain't me. You know goddamn well I ain't no 38 double dick. Look. <laughs> got a 38 double dick bra. Cause you know men would not buy their real size. This motherfucker be in the store, god damn, we selling the shit up these 38 double dicks. All these big dick Americans. Oh, got this hot ass suit on. Feel like a, feel like a funeral preacher. Can I tell y'all something? Cause look, people talk about funerals all the time, but this is one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate going to funerals because, you know, I hate when a family invite their own pastor, right? and they feel like they passed and gotta say something. And he kinda mad cause he ain't doing a eulogy. So he try... <laughs> He get up there doing too much, like he trying to preach to outdo the dude who got picked. Oh, he's trying to start out with the humble voice. Hey man, how y'all doing? Hey man. Um... Sister Shirley invited me, hey man. That's why I'm here. That's her mother in there, hey man. I represent the Mount Ebenezer Baptist Church. Matter of fact, we're here. Uh, Mount Ebenezer, could you please stand up, please? Amen. We're here. Uh, you gotta watch you preach, boy. These preachers got good stage presence and don't even be saying nothing. You ever see that? They got the stage presence. The only thing you understand is they last two words. They just, they do everything. You know, when God says something, <laughs> he moves in a way that most folk don't know. And if God goes over that way, <laughs> he goes over that way, cause it don't matter what you think. <laughs> Them dudes ain't even got Bibles up there no more. They got iPads. <laughs> that Wi-Fi go down, he don't know what to do. Like, yes, turn your Bible to Deuteronomy 9 and 4. Still loading, amen. <laughs> Still, who's in the Wi-Fi ministry, hey, amen? <laughs> he done took the whole church outside. Everybody come outside. 
Chicago boy. Look, that's where I live. That's where my family at. Got little kids. I got three or four year old man. Like I love my kids. Like my daughter's four. Ain't nothing had like having a little girl, man. Little girls are the shit to me. Like I don't remember potty training my daughter. I remember she just stopped peeing on herself. Like I bought her some panties. She's like, look, I'm not peeing on Dora. Where the bathroom at? Like, damn, over there. My son ain't shit though. Three, you know, he three. And... Like little niggas love being nasty. Like they don't give a fuck. Fucking like potty trading little boys, man. He ain't, I tried to do the same thing with him. I tried to buy him some drawers. That did not work at all. He got smart on my ass. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Say, hey, daddy, uh, Batman crying. No, the fuck he ain't. You're peeing on yourself. I'm peeing on myself. You know when they threw they repeat everything you say. You're peeing on yourself. I'm peeing on myself. I'm like, look, you gotta sit down like your sister with your little nasty ass. <laughs> you gotta sit down on the toilet. <laughs> that shit look weird as hell. Like, any man ever had to teach their son how to sit down and pee? That shit is uncomfortable. Cause you gotta show him. I got my grown ass tucking my dick in the toilet. And we got one of them high water toilets. It is... I'm like, look, look at me. Would you look at me, please? Wait, yo, bow. Fucking repeat that part, man. I just hope he grow out of that shit. I don't want him to be in high school. Everybody else standing, he's sitting this little grown ass in the studio. <laughs> but y'all had no daddy growing up or something? Y'all are disgusting. Ah, oh, shit. All right, that was fun. I'm out of here. Uh, oh, well, you know. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Yeah, clap as I button up my suit coat. <laughs> well, look, what's Shaq at? Thank you for the opportunity, brother. Appreciate you having me. Every time I kick the verse, I bet on that universe. I can spit a freestyle better than you when you rehearse. Tell these beats the rest of the beats. Every time that I release these beats. Come on, y'all give it up for more than that now. Come on now. Look at the titties on that white girl right there. God damn! Stand up, lady, just one time. Stand. We're gonna see you when you walk out of this motherfucker. Shit, oh, the other one. Where the other one at? Woo! God damn! Stand up, stand up. Come on, stand up and show everybody. Stand up and turn around. Turn around. Merlin Monroe. You left your ass in the chair when you stood up, too. Just gonna walk out of that motherfucker like this. Yeah. We got my man Kenny Smith in the house. Kenny Smith, NBA. That nigga be running to the drum board like this. Let me show y'all how to do it. Up nothing else. Ain't no female sitting at the table. I don't know why y'all won't see my chest hair. It's Let's do it. That. Huh? It's about Dion, what? it's your time to go. Let's go. Have my money. Line my money up right there. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's get the let's get the new Arsenio Hall out here. Come on, let's do, let's do this shit. I want you to put your hands together for my man, Dion Go! What's up, motherfucking Vegas? How y'all feeling, man? Give it up for everybody you see, y'all. Give it up for everybody, y'all. Good to be here. I'm from Chicago and shit, man. I've been out on the West Coast for a minute and shit. These West Coast motherfuckers out here crazy than a motherfucker, Jack. Nigga, I'm at the gas station one day. This motherfucker I know, he had another motherfucker in the car with him. They pull up in the gas station. Dude that was driving, he seen me. He like, Dion, I need to talk to you. And he ran in the gas station. I'm like, all right, I finished pumping my gas. Other motherfuckers sitting in the car on the phone. I go over there being nice, put my hand out. I'm like, hey, what's up, dog? This is what this motherfucker told me. He was like, I don't feel like meeting no new niggas today. 
I was like, what this nigga just say to me? Who says that? Like all week, this motherfucker been meeting random niggas, and all of a sudden, I walk up and that shit is over. I was out this West Coast chick too. She irritated the shit out of me. Everything she said, she had the word little in it. That shit was irritating. She was like, look at your little shirt with your little shoes. Your little hair, look at you looking all cute with your little self. I'm like, ugh. She was like, I ain't one of them bitches that go out all the time. I give me a little wine, watch me a little movie, be in my own little world. I'm like, I can't fuck this bitch. I pull my dick out. She like, look at your little dick, trying to get a little Trying to get a little a little dick. I'm coming. Ah, 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 look at your little cum face. I read a motherfucking statistic today. Y'all not gonna like this, but this real shit, all right? That white women work out more than black women, and they're healthier than black women are. And you know why black women don't work out as much as white women? Because they don't want to fuck up their hair. Is that not the dumbest shit you ever heard in your life? Bitch, what make you think niggas want a big fat ass bitch with long, beautiful fucking hair going down her fucking back? What make you think niggas is looking for that shit? Fat ass bitch with just long Rapunzel ass fucking hair going down her fat ass fucking back. Don't nobody want that shit, bitch. Give me a nappy head skinny bitch any motherfucking day. Anytime I see a bitch with fucked up hair, I'll be like, this bitch healthy than a motherfucker. <laughs> like this healthy hoe with her fucked up hair. <laughs> Women be in the beauty salon and shit. Let me tell you something. Real motherfuckers don't give a fuck about your hair, to be honest with you. Real niggas, we don't give a fuck about how beautiful your motherfucking hair is. You be in a beauty salon four, five fucking hours and shit, trying to impress a motherfucker. We don't give a fuck about your hair. You know what a real nigga think when he see your hair all dead? How can I fuck up motherfucking hair up? I'ma sweat and snatch that shit out. I'ma nut all in this bitch bangs. I nut in this bitch bangs, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I fuck this bitch hair up, nigga. That's what real niggas think about. <laughs> Go fuck about your hair, motherfucker. I'm texting you all motherfucking day, bitch, and you ain't answering. Fucking your hair up, ho. <laughs> Women want a good man, too. Women be like, man, I need a good man. Be praying to God, too. Lord, send me a good man, Lord. Send me a good man. And he never sent him. You know why? Because you don't know how to pray. You got to learn how to pray, know how to pray. I know the God that I serve, he a detailed God. I can't go to him with just no any any stuff. I got to know what I want and know if I can handle what I'm asking for. You got to know how to pray. Women be like this. I'm saying women be like, Lord, send me a man that's gonna be there when I wake up, be there when I go to bed, be there all the time. Tell me how nice I am. I just want a man there. I just want him there, Lord. And he gonna send them to you, too. But he ain't gonna have no job. Cause that ain't what you asked for. How the fuck is he gonna work and be at home all the goddamn time? Learn how to pray, motherfuckers. Women want a motherfucking successful man, too. They want a man with a lot of money, millions of dollars and shit. That come with a motherfucking price. You want you a successful man? This is how it go, ladies. You want you a man with a lot of money? If you get you a man with a lot of money, believe this, he ain't gonna have no time. Or you're gonna get a man with all the time, but he ain't gonna have no money. So you gotta make a motherfucking decision. You want a motherfucker to pay attention or pay for some shoes? That's a hard motherfucking decision to make. And women want a motherfucker with a, man, send me, send me somebody with a million dollars. I want a man with a million dollars. You can have that man with a million dollars, but that come with a price too. Any man with a million dollars, please believe he got hoes. <laughs> Bitches, yes he do. And you gotta put up with that. 
You got damn right. The only thing you can do is sit there and be like this. You know what? As long as they respect me and don't bring that shit home, it's all good. <laughs> Bitch, if you think like that, you're winning, ho. You're winning. Trying to get you a faithful man with a million dollars. Is you fucking out your rabbit ass mind? <laughs> Hell, I nigga with five hundred dollars. That's God. Ho. Ho. Man, be that a way to a woman heart is buying her shit. Nah, man, that ain't the way to a woman heart. Any woman that you want, I'm gonna tell you how you get her. Listening. That's it. You sit there and you listen. Women love a motherfucker who listens. You sit there and you fucking listen to her and you give her compliments when she needed and you wait on your opportunity to hit that ass and you go hit it. You sit there and you wait on that shit. You goddamn right. You, she call you, you ain't fucked up yet, you just her friend, right? But you wanna fuck her. So you do shit for her, like put together them goddamn Ikea shelves and shit. <laughs> Fucking shoe racks and shit you putting together for her. And you wait on your opportunity. And when that opportunity come, you strike and you get that ass. You sit there, you put them goddamn shelves together and be like, oh, hey, girl, what's up? What's wrong? They fucking with you at the job again? You know what? They don't even realize what kind of bitch you are. You know that? You the baddest bitch in the motherfucking world. Without you, that whole motherfucking company will go under. You are the glue that keep that whole motherfucking shit together, and they need to the motherfucking recognize that. Not yet? Okay. So I feel as though that if you stay there, they gonna fucking love you, and they gonna give you what the fuck you want. I promise you. Not yet? Okay. Well, I'm gonna be putting these shelves together, and you let me know when you want that thing, all right? One time I was having sex with this chick, right? I was having sex with this chick one time, and uh, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all on this shit, right? I'm getting all in this shit, having a good motherfucking time. And she says, you know, I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you like that? She was like, I don't feel shit. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, yes, you do feel all this dick I'm putting up in there right now. If I had to say dick like that because my feelings was hurt. I was like, bitch, yes, you do feel all this dick I'm putting up in there. She was like, I don't feel nothing. Now you're in a room, I don't even know if you're in the room or not. I'm like, bitch, I'm all in the room with all this dick I'm putting up in there. She was like, you ain't doing shit. I'm like, yes I am, motherfucker. She was like, no you not. I'm like, yes I am. She was like, no you not. Uh. Thank you. I was like, hell no. This bitch was just saying that shit to me so I can fuck her harder. That bitch brought out the best in me. That's all right. I didn't know I had that much potential in me like that. <laughs> Women, you want to get fucked? Quit complimenting men. You, you lay there. Because when men fuck, we look for emotions. We look for feelings. We look for movements and shit. And if we don't see that shit, we're going to fuck you till we get it, goddammit. You want to get the motherfucking bottom knocked out that shit? Lay there and don't do shit. Motherfucker gonna be like, <laughs> One time I had a bitch yarn on me. I lost my motherfucking mind. <laughs> I'm fucking her. This bitch like, mm -hmm. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is you? <laughs> you better wake up, bitch. I'm fucking murder you. I'm getting old too, man. I can tell I'm getting old. I am. I don't like good pussy neither. I know that sounds weird, but I don't like good pussy. I do not like good pussy. Good pussy change your life. I don't like change like that. <laughs> now, nah, every man in here that was living their life, having a good ass time, kicking it with that boy, is getting drunk all night, hit some good pussy and got shut down. Now you in the minivan. <laughs> you had a red light. How the fuck did I get here? Why am I in the minivan with groceries and shit? 
the fuck? I don't want no good pussy, fuck that. If I remotely feel good pussy, I'm up. On one stroke, I'ma find out. I'ma be like, eh, no, I'm good, I don't want that shit. No, no, it's not you, it's me. I just don't like change like that. You know what age I miss? I miss my 30s. Woo! God bless any man in here in his motherfucking 30s. Live your 30s to the fullest. You'll never get them years back. Don't ask for no motherfucking forgiveness. Live your motherfucking 30s, you hear me? You know why it's so great for a man to live in his motherfucking 30s? Because when you're in your 30s, you, you're at that age where you can fuck young women and older women, and it's accepted. You right in the motherfucking pocket. In my 30s, I was fucking everything. I had a young bitch, 21. I used to go pick her up and be like, come on, bitch, let's go get you some scrunchies. Then I had an old bitch, she was 57. I used to go to Walgreens and pick up her medicine. <laughs> I used to be like, yeah, I'm here to pick up Bernice's high blood pressure medicine. Yeah, I signed for that right there. <laughs> That's right, man, I can't keep fucking with these, all these young chicks, man. These young motherfuckers, they getting a little too much for me, man. One time I was trying to have sex with this young girl, right? We laying in the bed, we getting it in and shit. We ain't even fucking yet, we just foreplaying and shit. This is what this young bitch told me. She was like, hand me my phone. I'm like, for what? You ain't about to make no call. It's about to be some fucking going on. You ain't calling. She like, hand me my phone. I'm like, yeah, all right. I gave her a phone. This is what she did. She went to her playlist and pulled up Trey songs. Played one of this nigga little R&B songs, playing on her phone, Laid it on the bed and was like, all right, come on. I'm like, I ain't about to know Trey songs. I ain't about that. This little young nigga guide me into some pussy, is you nuts? <laughs> bitch, this an Isley brother dick right here, bitch. <laughs> Motherfucking Keith Sweat dick, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's why I got to have me a veteran, bitch, goddammit. I like veteran hoes. Veteran bitch, from now on, if I do fuck around with a young girl, she gotta have a whole spirit. But she gotta be smarter, something. I can't fuck with just no young girls no more. It's just all, right now, all the young bitches just gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. It's about me, me. I need some bitches that's gonna bring some shit to the table. That's what veteran hoes do. Veteran hoes bring some shit to the table. That's what I want. From now on, I ain't fucking, I ain't fucking nothing but 50 and up, goddammit. Goddamn right, 50 and up, veteran bitches, nigga. I want me a bitch where every time I hug her, I get glitter on me. That's how them old hoes do. They keep some glitter, don't they? You ever hug your auntie and lean back like, why this bitch got all this glitter on her shit? I like old hoes, goddamn it. Veteran bitches. I want me a bitch that still carry a change purse. You know that little rubber when you squeeze, it look like lips? That bitch come from up here with it, she be like that. Or that little change purse with them two little things, you snap like that. That little satin, that little satin motherfucker with them shit. <laughs> bitch like, baby, put your hair now. Let me, what you need, 20 dimes or 10 nickels? What you? Like, this bitch got me the money, goddammit. Old hoes, goddammit, that's why I want veteran bitches. I want a bitch that come to bed in a slip. <laughs> Old hoes use slips as lingerie and shit. You like mama's slip, baby, huh? You like mama's slip, baby? <laughs> what bitches still wearing slips? Look at all the women that ain't laughing, them all the slip bitches in there. Look at all the slip bitches. <laughs> they in here like, my mama told me to wear a slip. I ain't about to stop wearing my fucking slip. You better burn them goddamn slips. Look at the young niggas, they like, what the fuck is a slip? <laughs> niggas like, <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, bitches, that's what I like. Veteran motherfuckers. Only turn off about having you a veteran bitch is a veteran bitch, she can get a little too, little up front, a little, little too to the point and shit, a little too aggressive. I don't like that shit. And they want you to respect them. You gotta respect the veteran, ho. That's, that's another kind of turn off and shit. Veteran bitch will come up to you and be like this. Uh, baby, let me ask you a question. Um, you eat pussy. I'll be like, yes. She'll be like, yes what? I'll be like, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am, I eat pussy. Yes ma'am, I show up to your second. You gotta respect the old ho, goddammit. And when you f oh, you can't be doing a lot of tricks. That bitch lays on her back and her legs go straight up. L7, goddammit, that's the spot. You can't move her old ho legs up. They go right there. You can't move them, no if you move them up, you gonna hear this. Ow, 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 ow. What you doing, baby? Just got your ankles, bitch. What you talking about? Relax, baby. You gonna get the pussy? <laughs> bitch, I'm just touching your panties. What the fuck is she talking about? They move all the whole legs up. Veteran bitches, goddamn it. That's the fuck I want. Ain't no guessing with no veteran bitch, neither. Like, young bitches, you be down uh, You like that? Uh, did you come yet? Uh, that feel good? Fuck that. Veteran bitch low, let you know exactly what you need to be doing. She be like, baby, let me show you where you need to be at. You need to be right there, nigga. There you go. There you go. Uh, I'm here to support you. That's what I'm here to do. I'm right here, huh? I'm right here. I'm here for support, baby. And ain't a whole bunch of noises with no old bitch. Ain't no, ah, 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 ah. Fuck that. When you fucking an old hoe, regular conversation. As if you sitting on the couch. That's how old hoes get down. And they tell you exactly what to do so you won't be wasting their time. Old ho be like, baby, put my leg up like that, all right? Now look, don't pinch this, twirl this, all right? Now here, put your dick right there. There you go, there you go. You know what the fuck you doing. You know what the fuck you doing, don't you? Oh, you move my leg up, you showing off now, ain't you? This nigga back there showing off right now. Now make sure when you leave here, make sure you wear your hat and scarf, because I don't need you getting sick when you leave here, coming here kissing me. Because I ain't got no more sick days to be taking a with you, understand me? Now remind me to go to the grocery store and get some jiffy. You ain't had cornbread till you had my cornbread, motherfucker. Now you like that I'm giving you back there, honey. You like that pussy? I'll be back there with a hat in my hand, like, yes, ma'am. I sure thank you for this pussy. Without this pussy, I'll be out there in the streets acting a goddamn fool. This pussy to save my life many nights, ma'am, and I just want to thank you. Thank you for this remarkable pussy. And I'm Dion Cole, Vegas. One love. Y'all know y'all enjoyed this shit. Yeah! It's going down. Yeah, nigga dressed like he's supposed to be in Vegas. Y'all see all the drug dealers walking through the motherfucking thing like this? That's how Tupac was walking through the motherfucking thing like this. Real niggas are here tonight. You ever see them drug dealers be, that used to, used to be the shit and got shot? <laughs> nigga still got money, nigga walking like you. <laughs> you say something about him, that's how he turn around. <laughs> Better watch your mouth, big ass nigga. I still got the juice around here. Yeah.
year. Fuck that shit. I, I, I still got the juice, nigga. Nick, 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 come up dead. <laughs> nigga had a taco meat hair right there. You know I look like your mama's boyfriend. Where's Pam at? Where's Pam? Tell Pam I'm down here. <laughs> Them drug dealers, they be having shit on like this, talking about what they got. Yeah, I got, man, you know, my one car's in the shop right now. And, you know, I got, a, I got another, I got a low rider I was supposed to be getting out of it. I owe another 5500 on that, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Niggas be talking about prison. Yeah, man, you know, my, you know Tony, with, uh, he was up in Chino with my brother now. Yeah, Tony and him did, yeah, he was up in Chino with my brother now. And then he had, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 we need, we need, we need collab. That's yeah. worth some money. Yeah, that's your <laughs> table, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's table. We need, because you keep leaving this crap, we need more than just the show. I'll tell you money, what, man. I'll tell you what. Money, this the last shit that I'm taking off. This little shirt right here. Y'all not getting a, another damn, not a damn thing. <laughs> Don't ask for nothing else of my shit. Uh, See, that's what happened, shit, man. Oh. Shit, Let me so find out y'all trying to wear my shit. Give some of that uh, afterlife. That's uh, it right there. Uh, Resident right, Evil right, money. Right. That's be right. Come on out here. A green eyed uh, symbol looking <laughs> 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 He always say something You always say something slick. Come on out of here. Hey, y'all, we got it. We got it. We got it. Boy, I can't stand light skin no fuck. I want y'all to put y'all hands together out of the shutdown. Put your hands together for D Ray. Shopping this bitch, about to change up the weather. Finna switch up style, show these niggas how to do better. Gotta stay full of the best. They down for whatever. Get laced up and hit the scene. Hold it down for the king like a red or let the beat drop. They out of there. Damn president. Y'all get up with Mike Epps, y'all. Inventor, what's up, Vegas? What up? A lot of young women with old ass motherfuckers out here. Let's go to the table. A lot of women thinking they the shit out here, they ain't. I know, yeah, yeah. Got your little nice dresses on, acting funky in the club. I see what the fuck you pulled up in. 17 bitches in the station wagon. I seen you. Girl, we leaving that too. Let's go. We can see D-Ray and Snoop performing after that. What's up, brother? You good? That's your girl with you? That's your girl? That's your wife? You, you look like a jealous motherfucker. Is he jealous? You're very what? You're very proud of her? That's some shit niggas don't say. Are you jealous? Not, not of her. What's wrong with you, man? Like if a nigga try to holler at you, gonna, you gonna fuck him up? He don't know, he ain't proud of her. You can't do that shit with her. Do that shit with a nigga. Nigga, look at my girl again. I'm gonna fuck your ass up. Any, any women got a crazy ass jealous nigga? That nigga jealous right there. Look how he got his arm on his girl. She gonna, I gotta pee, bitch, we gotta pee. <laughs> Trying to meet a nigga in Vegas in this motherfucker. You gotta be careful with all these crazy ass motherfuckers. Jealousy a motherfucker. You ever see a beautiful ass girl in the club? You think she by herself? She ain't by a motherfucking self. She got a crazy ass jealous nigga. The nigga, hey, baby, we gonna go to the club now. All about time you took me to the club. You're so nice. Watch. They get in the club, the nigga snap off. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Go stand over there in the corner. <laughs> Why am I going to stand in the corner? Because every time you go out with your friends or by yourself, you say, don't no nigga try to talk to you. So go show me, bitch. This is stupid. Why am I going in the corner? Every time Nick close, you're like, uh-uh, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I'm watching these damn women. You gotta watch everybody. Shit, I got a daughter, nigga. She ain't gonna grow up and be I'm serious, I'm never my daughter. I don't know where y'all daddies were. I'm in my daughter's head. I told my daughter, all men have AIDS. You too, daddy? <laughs> me too. The only thing keeping me alive is the fact you ain't fuck with no <laughs> Oh, shit. Out there? 
Women hate being called I understand this. 2013, motherfuckers shouldn't be called hoes. I'm, I'm rude for that. d rare asshole for that. Shit done changed now, right, ladies? Right? You make your own goddamn money. Men get the fuck who we want to fuck. Go to work. Nobody call us shit. But women, you fuck up, motherfucker, call your hoe. That's not right. Y'all make your own money, doing your own thing, take care of your own kids. Y'all should be the fuck who the fuck y'all want to fuck. Ain't that right? Those are the hoes right there. Y'all just want to point them out. Every bitch that cheer. That's right. It's your hoe ass up, man. Women getting crazy and crazy and shit. Are we making y'all crazy? Y'all yeah. need to stay the fuck out of our shit. That's what it is. You stop searching through your nigga shit. Look at him, crazy. What make y'all think y'all go through our shit? Do your man go through your shit? Yeah. Then he's a bitch if he do. Yeah. I don't check my woman's phone. Fuck that. She can't be doing half of what I'm doing, motherfucker. <laughs> you should be happy if your man is a jealous man, though. If your dude jealous, be glad. That means you look good. You could be an ugly motherfucker, nobody speaks to your ass. <laughs> Overly confident ass women. Some women too confident, no goddamn way you ugly. You ever go, Psst, and the ugly one turn around in a group of bitches? <laughs> like, hey, baby, how you doing? What, what's up? Bitch, not you. You ain't never been hey in your life. <laughs> Trying to steal that cute bitch hey. What's wrong with you? <laughs> if your man jealous, that means you're loving good. If you're loving <laughs> about to hang out with my friends, bitch gone, hurry up, leave, thank you. <laughs> when your shit good, that's the shit to get you stalked. That good sex, that shit had a nigga show up to your job with restraining order. Bitch, what's this paper? <laughs> Why you got my regular name on this paper, ho? <laughs> you think a hundred feet gonna stop my love, bitch? Is that what you're thinking? Go on, sit your girl down. That nigga walked his girl to the bathroom. <laughs> How you doing, guy? You all right? That's your girlfriend? Got yeah, you a white chick, huh? I ain't... That's, that's your girl? A lot of niggas were looking at her ass on the way in here. Is that cool? Is that cool with you? Look, that nigga nervous as hell. Don't say anything. <laughs> we seen Shaq's name. We thought it was safe. <laughs> a lot of women like going to get them white dudes. Them white dudes crazy in the motherfucker, too. White women crazy, too. You think white women don't question their men? She, white women just question with the benefit of the doubt. So the club you were at last week, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe you're at a different club. <laughs> Black women question like them bitches about to win a game show. I got a question for you, nigga. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to answer. You gonna be wrong with your lying ass, nigga. Hey, bitch, why you dancing in the living room? Just ask me the goddamn question. Time for this shit questioning me and shit. You worry about the wrong goddamn things. That's why it's hard for me. That's why I like staying single. Fuck that. Women try to force you in a relationship. You can't just, ain't no, ain't no relationships out here no more. You ain't finna force D-Ray in a relationship. Women try to give you the ass. I was fucking this bitch one time. She's like, this your pussy. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. You keep that motherfucker, share it accordingly, whatever you need to do, I'm good. I'm good. All that jealousy shit. And I know jealousy is not about the money either. It ain't about how much money a motherfucker got. It's about real motherfucker. Them niggas really think they love a motherfucker, so it make them go crazy. I knew jealousy was real when I seen this motherfucking homeless nigga curse out his homeless bitch. I said, what this nigga jealous about? That nigga snapped off on that bitch. Bitch, why every time walk past that nigga back there on the ground, you stand on at the nigga with the blanket, bitch. I need a blanket to get attention around this You wanna, you wanna go lay with that nigga, bitch? Go on, lay with that nigga. All the shit I didn't do for your ass, you wanna stay at another nigga. Bitch, when I met you, ain't even know how to beg. Bitch, you was out here begging all angry and shit. You ain't getting no change. Who taught y'all to be sincere, bitch? Who taught you this? Who taught you that goddamn face? You ain't know how to beg, bitch. Go on, be with that nigga. All the hoes I step over to come back to your ass. You <laughs> steal that nigga back there. I stole me some ass last night, bitch. I was just a prostitute in the middle of sex. How much you gonna pay me? I'm like, bitch, you crazy in the motherfucker, bitch. Go 
tell the police? What you gonna tell them? I it was him, officer. Shit. He didn't steal your pussy, man. It's still right there. That's why I do comedy, though, to get D-Ray's point across. It's important in the world. A lot of motherfuckers don't talk like me. A lot of people don't like to discuss all the phone issues and shit niggas doing. Stay the fuck out of our phone, ladies. You don't pay that fucking bill. Stop trying for your man phone. You're not going to get the motherfucker. A nigga will sacrifice the fuck out of a brand new phone for you get it. Be the iPhone 3000. You be driving shit. You don't let me see your phone. Out the window this phone, bitch. You just going to throw your phone out the window. I sure the fuck did. Cause the fact that you having that motherfucker some scary shit. Even if you ain't doing shit wrong, the day your woman touch your phone, some shit go wrong. Cause the phone gods hate men. You ever tell your woman she can go through your phone but you don't mean that shit? You just in the middle of arguing, bitch you don't trust me? Check it, she like, let me check it. Bitch, why the fuck you gotta go through a nigga's shit? This bitch almost had this motherfucker, I don't know. And if you think your woman ain't got your cell phone code, you an idiot. You dumb little motherfucker. You got her shit, you tell her. I got your code, so what? I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody but your dumb ass going through that motherfucker. So go on, check it, idiot. A woman don't say she got your code, though. Hell no. Nah. They just say some slick ass shit off your voicemail. Fuck your head up. You think this bitch psychic. Baby, what you want to do today? I don't know, you want to go to the mall around four? How this bitch start going to the goddamn mall? Abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> you don't think your woman got your code? Motherfucker, change it. Watch. She gonna be walking around pissed off. Can't tell you why. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong with you? I don't know. There's been some changes around this motherfucker. <laughs> it's all the hoes on Saturday. That's because your goddamn friends be in our business and shit. That's how your woman know to go through our shit. Some told me to go through it. Bitch, you told you to go through it. <laughs> your funky ass fucking friends told you. Keep them bitches out of our relationship. Them motherfuckers always want to be around for this shit, but don't want to be around when shit going down. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit. That's an advantage women had though. They got their girlfriends. They travel with their girlfriends, hang with their girlfriends, communicate with their girlfriends. When men go hang out, we hang with just our boys. So I call Shaq, these niggas, we go hang out, get drunk, look at ass. Where the bitches at? There they go. What the bitch is that? There they go. We ain't thinking about motherfucking our women. We're not saying we don't care about y'all. We're just not thinking about our women. We don't discuss our women when we out amongst men. It ain't what men do. If we talk about our girl, it's for fucking three seconds. What's up with your girl? Bitch tripping. That's it. <laughs> women go out with their girlfriends, discuss the men from the beginning. I don't know if I'm having a good time tonight because he was sweating me all day. He arguing with me. They got that bitch to stand up for everybody. Listen to me, bitch. You was yourself before you met that nigga. You need to get back into being you, hang with your girlfriends, go out, fuck that fucking phone, push ignore on that nigga, and don't talk to him. Have a good motherfucking time. You know what I do need to have a good goddamn time. Then she go hang with her friends and shit. She out. You calling. He calling that girl. Look, he calling. Her girl like, let me see. Decline. We ain't got to talk to that nigga tonight. You just declined on my man. Hold your purse. Men don't do that shit. Hell no. The phone gods hate men. We don't want, we don't say the fuck away from the phones. Every time you can be out with your woman, have a great fucking night. You, my man, you out with your girl, great night, right? Having a good night and shit? Go see D-Ray, motherfucker, check out the Shaq All-Star Tour and shit. Like Mike Guess, we had a good time, go home, make love, motherfucker. How long y'all been together? Nine years. Nine motherfucking years. Go home, great night, make love and shit, get ready to go to bed on a night like tonight. Who called? A bitch from 10 years ago. You know, how this bitch got your number? What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Niggas don't know how to answer. Niggas don't know how to run. Who is that? I don't know, bitch. Niggas jump out the window, nigga. Death. But not me, hell no. Hell no. That shit don't happen like that for us. Let your woman do that shit. Let your woman get a phone call. Women are more poised from talking to their fucking girlfriends. Women ready for that motherfucking shit. Let her phone ring as a nigga from 10 years ago. She don't get nervous. She make you feel good, an old nigga calling. <laughs> oh shit, baby, look at this nigga. He wanna be you. He do wanna be me, don't he? Oh yeah, but he can't be me, can he? 
saying no, because you you, boo, because I'm me. We got to turn the tides back, man. You motherfucking losing the women. They fucking us up. Getting questioned. Fuck getting questioned. Be one step ahead of your fucking woman. That's how you got her, nigga. Being a step, step ahead. You see a woman walking, she was fine. You step in front of that bitch, what's her? Be a step ahead of her after you get her. You get in trouble with your woman, what's the first thing you do? You start telling her everywhere you go. Now you can't lie about where you was at, because she don't trust your ass no more. I'm about to make a right and then a left after that. She still don't believe you. Nigga, I want to hear the GPS say it. You got to stay a step ahead of your motherfucking woman. Don't tell a woman everywhere you go. You tell a woman every goddamn where you go, you she start getting more and more fucking crazy. Next you know this bitch know all the places you be. Now you come in the house, can't lie about where you was at because this bitch done drove all the motherfucking places. You come in the house and shit, where the fuck would you at? I went to the dark, say you went to the motherfucking grocery store. Went by the grocery store, say you went by the basketball court, went by the basketball court. Say you went to your homeboy house, I called Larry, went over there. Say you went to the other way mom's house, I went over there too. Motherfucker, I rolled past, picked up your clothes from the cleaners. So you ain't say you was over there, motherfucker. So where the fuck was you at, nigga? Like, God damn, you drove all them places? I sure the fuck did. And bitch, I was here. <laughs> While you was riding around and shit, you should have checked the crib, you'd have ran into a nigga. <laughs> they making it harder and harder. Women bold as hell. Ain't that right, Mr. LeBert? He been through centuries of bitches. He got that R&B shit. That's why I'm dressed up tonight. I want some of that R&B action. Women bold as hell now. Women ain't used to be this bold. Women bold on the motherfucker now. This girl walked up to me, uh, D-Ray, you got a big dick? Yeah, bitch, to me. <laughs> Ladies, the size matter? Yeah. Look at the women sitting next to the nigga saying no, no. <laughs> Love matters. <laughs> Little dick nigga mad as hell. What's wrong to him? Women like that big shit. Women like when you pull out a Magnum on their ass. Yeah. Women like you pull out that motherfucking Magnum XL. That's the fuck I do. I don't play games. I pull out the motherfucking Magnum XL, hold that shit to the light, smack that shit on the bed. Bitch, get ready. <laughs> then I hit the light, get my regular kind of out the drawer, put that motherfucker on. The Mr. Tim. That's the problem, man. We, we brag too much. Let's stop bragging about our size. You don't know who the fuck she is with before you. Don't brag about take your ass up. You can better take this dick. Motherfucker, put your ass to sleep. Bitch, call off work tomorrow. Fuck that bitch. Call off life. Put a tag on the toe. Pussy dead. I ain't playing games with your ass tonight. You talk all that shit, get home and don't represent shit. Women are assholes. They ain't gonna let you get away with that shit. Let you not represent shit. She gonna get out the bed mocking you. I'm a turtle, I'm a turtle, I'm a turtle. My bitch is still laughing, nigga. Don't put all that pressure on your goddamn self. Don't tell a woman your size when you first fuck. Turn the light off. Light off, dick in. Light off, dick in. You get the reaction you want, then you start bragging. Oh shit, it's so big, I can't take it all. You must be d -Ray. So much dick, oh lord. Then you brag, that's right. Now stand up if you can. You go tell people about this shit. I will, I'm gonna tell all my girlfriends, this is crazy. That dick is unconstitutional. <laughs> but, if you don't get no motherfucking noise, don't make no woman how you fucked up. Don't let her fuck up your ego. Hell no. Turn the light on, dick in. Light on, dick in. She don't make no noise, play that shit off. Make her feel fucked up. Dick in. Oh shit, uh, you want me to put it all in? <laughs> yeah, put it all in. No, I ain't trying to kill you. Put it all in. I ain't trying to ruin your life, bitch. I feel your balls. No, that's just a bump in my dick. It's gonna continue after that. It's more dick to come. More dick after that. Women don't give a shit no more. Don't confront no woman. I fucked you, women don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I didn't nut nigga, the shit horrible. 
It ain't always motherfucking a man's fault we come quick. Sometimes the shit really be that fucking good. You ever apologize, nigga? <laughs> right when you fucking? I'm sorry for what for this. I'm sorry for that shit. <laughs> Woo, shit. The nigga make excuses. I must have ate some beets today. The nigga be eating beets. You make that shit shoot out. The nigga eat beets. Good sex is shit to lead to arguments. I want to argue with your ass. That's another thing, too. Let me tell you something, ladies. Another thing. Men don't like to argue. I don't care how much you think a man do, we don't like to argue. Y'all like all that arguing shit, that yelling. We only yell, we feel like we really got a point in shit. We don't like yelling. Women don't give a fuck where they argue at. Men argue in their house. Five. You go outside and shit the bitch open the door. You stupid ass motherfucker. Nigga outside like this. Baby, why you want to be outside with our goddamn boy? <laughs> I don't know why she act like that, James. She wanna act like that. Don't oh, put your kids up. It's too late for this goddamn shit. We don't like to argue. But if you do argue, men, fellas, if you do argue, keep that motherfucking shit vocal. That's how you, that's how you remain a king with your woman. You wanna argue with her? Argue in person like this. Argue on the phone, let her hear your shit. Let her know your argument means something. You can change your tones and shit. The second you start texting, you are gonna lose. <laughs> Women are the world's best texters. Them bitches' fingers are genetically built to fuck your ass up. And they know exactly when to text your ass, too. You tell her when you're going out, say, hey, baby, I'm going out with my boys. She's like, okay, that's cool, go out with your boys. You're like, all right, it's a good thing I went on and let her know. She still start a motherfucking argument. You out with your boys, no matter what she texts you, you text back, she want to argue, she going to start that fucking argument. You better get to a phone, what the fuck you want? Don't text. She texts your ass, what you doing, boo? You write back something like, chilling. Chilling. Oh, you, oh, you sticking to one words now? You motherfucker texting me one motherfucking word. If I wrote you back one word, you motherfucker go the fuck off. But that's how I enjoy your little friends. I try to look out for your motherfucking ass. But now you're out there being motherfucking stupid. You know what? I don't even need to talk to you all motherfucking week. Die, die, die. Enjoy your motherfucking evening. Be blessed with your fucked up license having ass, okay? And don't ask you to use my motherfucking car tomorrow either, nigga. I'm the nigga that picked out your outfit tonight. You gonna tell me chilling, chilling? Okay, cool. A bitch is on ice then, nigga. Chilling. And now you mad than a dumb fucker. Bitch, what you mean, motherfucker? I ain't do shit to your ass. Caps. Bitch, stupid ass. Bitch. Dumb ass. Bitch. Escamation. 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 You got any motherfucking bitches I can have? I don't need this shit, bitch. I'll leave your ass, bitch. She right back. K. K. Bitch, I can't motherfucking ass. What you mean, K, bitch? I'll ruin your goddamn life. She right back. Smiley face. Smiley face, bitch. I'm D Ray Davis, Vegas. Thank y'all for having me. Welcome to Shaq's All-Stars Comedy Jam. I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's All-Star Comedy... Oh, it was... I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's All-Stars Comedy Jam. It's time. All-Star, yeah. You know a nigga retarded a little bit. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's Comedy Star All-Jam. <laughs> Hey, man, I got to do that shit separate, man. <laughs> I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's Comedy All-Star Jam. I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's Comedy Star all <laughs> I'm Mike Epps, and this is Shaq's Comedy Star All-Star Jam. <laughs> I'm Mike Epps, and welcome to Shaq's Showtime. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> We just finished the show, right? And we did the show, and it's over with. And look, come in. He can't get in his room. I can't get in my own fucking dresser room. So he's gonna steal old man's the warehouse. Door, the door is locked. Suit, they, they gonna suit. Can't even get in my dresser room. You can't take the shit I off. I can't man. take it. <laughs> I gotta wear this the rest of my life. I think. Now we gotta bring out the man to pay the bills. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for the man who made all this possible with my man Jeff Klan again. Put your hands together for Shaquille O'Neal. Hello, 
Tracy Chapman right here. Say hello to Tracy Chapman. Look at that big picnic table cloth jacket that nigga got on. Hey, boo boo, let me get another picnic basket. I got shit on my mask. It's hard for me to roll shack. That motherfucker car commercial nigga. Do another one, them <laughs> nigga. No damn well his feet was in the engine. It, it's so roomy. It's so roomy. It's so roomy. Hey man, we love y'all, man. Thank y'all. Shaquille O'Neal, Scotty Joe.